In the nomad lifestyle, you will have times where you have great friends accompanying you, and sometimes those friends are no more. Well, this is a story of myself and Karma traveling from one side of Rosewood all the way to Louisville, and then establishing a base within Louisville as people you can trust and go to when you need help. Still living in the nomad tradition though. It's taken us five whole days to travel from Rosewood with a good amount of supplies and a vehicle all the way to Muldra. We have a few rules in the Nomad Lifestyle Challenge and they are on the screen right now. If you haven't already, check out the previous video that has all of the information you need to understand what we're doing and what we want to accomplish in this run. So this is halfway through day five where our last video left us and to be honest not a lot happened did a bit more clearing out a bit more foraging because i ran out of spears my pitch fort broke and that meant that i couldn't actually do combat very well so i looked for a few spears found one or two and then we headed on back needing to sleep we had a bit of a drive around but couldn't find anywhere really safe me being claustrophobic i needed to sleep in the car practically i couldn't sleep inside and karma was scared of that because well, he doesn't want to risk it. So we went towards the gas station again to have a sleep. Even though I was severely exhausted, you'll be happy to hear that my senses are on point. Hey, wasn't there a zombie in one of these bathrooms? No, you'd hear it. You would have heard it. I now. thought I did hear it last time. Uh, I'm going to fill my empty bottle. Oh, oh yeah, there's one here. Hello. Seriously? We slept and thus concludes day five. So day six begins and it's a bit of a weird one. A few things happened today. Firstly, we went to get rid of a bunch of zombies so we could slowly move up Muldra. My brilliant idea of throwing a molly didn't quite work when I wasn't sure how to throw a molotov properly. What? I still don't know what happened there. I what the guess I have to light it somehow. But then after that happened, I was running backwards and this is Karma's point of view of what can only be described as despawning. Uh, maybe I do just click. Hey, they all despawned. Are you seeing this? Wait, there's like four or five of them now. Yo, yeah. that was trippy. My immersion. What happened there? And then we continued on looting Karma towards the police station, which of course he would be going for that. Oh, it's payday, boys. No. It's big time payday. What are you getting paid in? Ah, oh, just a few massive guns. Scope we don't rail. use guns. No, we do now, baby. Stupid guns. And I went towards the video shop because I thought, hey, let's get some videos to help us on the road. I may have had a lapse in judgment here. Ah, ah, I think I'm dead. I think I'm dead. Oh, you no, dead? Are I'm you dead. serious? Yeah, yeah, I did. I did a stupid did you move. Get bit? I just walked right in. <laughs> did you get bit? Oh, I got more than bit, yeah. Oh, sh yes, rest in peace, Merlin Fountain. Thank you for your time. It is time to move on to the next one. It is time for us to introduce to the story Anderson Usher. Yeah, are you a cop? Ah, I'm a park ranger, sir. After getting everything back and unfortunately looting the police station, good zombie. Karma found himself another vehicle. We gassed it up and we both went on. Oh, I'm dear, gonna turn sir. Jesus oh, Christ, no. man. I've, oh, I've stalled. What are you... <laughs> Get out of here, bro. Yeah. This, is... <laughs> this isn't good. This isn't good, brother. I think we freaked out a little bit here and ended up all the way at the other side of Muldra. Found one of my favorite buildings, this big warehouse, cleared out the area and had a rest for tonight. Tomorrow only brings more terror. I'm ready. You loved. Oh, there's a zombie. Is there actually? It's a zombie. Oh, a I was zombie. trying to break in. That's wild that it saw you. That's All cool. right, we're fine. Don't worry about me. And just like that, we're on to day seven. 
Now today was a little different. We decided to stay put in the one area, move up just a little bit, so it still stayed within the rules of having to move up towards Louisville. But we really wanted to farm around the area and find some good gear. I decided to obviously go towards the storage areas. With the common sense mod, you can pry open doors with a crowbar. So that's what I did for most of the day. Didn't really find a lot, but I got a lot of the basic tools and all of that stuff. Karma, on the other hand, found himself in a bit of strife. Okay. What do we do here? What do we do here, buddy? Oh, uh, look, mate. I don't... It's my left upper arm that's that's bitten, and I'm bleeding. Right. Wait. Let's keep looking out there. Let's check it all out. <laughs> You're gonna make me look at the flowers. <laughs> look at the flowers. <laughs> look at the flowers, man. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. You son it's of okay. A bitch. <laughs> And that is it for Karma's first character. He'll re-roll up because I'm not getting rid of him just yet. Did you take my pistol? I made you safe. You definitely took my pistol. I did. You naughty, naughty boy. All I did was ensure my friend was safe. <laughs> if I'm a terrible person for that, so be it. And we continued on our path. We moved up just one building to, funny enough, the building he got bitten at and decided to have some delicious steaks and a sleep for the night. And that is it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe so that you do not miss the next one when it comes out. I've been getting so much amazing feedback for these sorts of series and these ideas. So keep the feedback coming. Keep the subscribes coming, the likes, the comments, all that fun stuff. It helps a lot and I really appreciate the interaction with everyone. Remember to check out Karma as well. He is an up and coming boy and we love him very much. So make sure to show him some love and see if we survive one more episode. Remember to keep playing the games you love. Take care of yourselves, everyone.